What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Elude Star Wars Plays. Today, we're going to be playing some Street Fighter VI. It's out now. I think it's been out. It's been out for a while, but now I got it. So now, we're going to see... This is what... Coming back to Street Fighter after... Street Fighter II. So, I've missed four Street Fighters. This is coming back. I, I played not Turbo, just Street Fighter II. And I, I played a little bit of Street Fighter Arcade, like, before it became, like, on the Super Nintendo. Okay, so anyways, Street Fighter Six, the fighting pass. Playing Street Fighter Six will earn you points, and once you've earned enough of these points, you'll receive rewards corresponding to the tier that you've reached. Y'all can read this along with me. Before I set up any of my buttons or anything, this is what I look like coming straight into the game, like just how the game presents itself. So we're going to we're gonna see about the options and everything here in a minute. Fighting passes have started end dates, so I'm probably not going to be good at this. With rewards and match... Okay, challenges. Earn rewards by completing challenges and assigned across a variety of game modes. Challenges have deadlines. Be sure to check in regularly. This is probably what I'm going to go for, like just these straightforward tasks. Similar to a fighting pass, playing a character is going to earn you kudos for that character. All right. So we have 13 hours remaining for today's daily challenge. And that challenge is fight five avatar battles. All right, cool. So that's the challenges. This is the kudos. We could give kudos to different characters. Um, I initially, I was thinking about coming in with Guile. And then from Guile, go Ryu, Ken, and then... Probably Dalsim. Then I'll probably start going Chun Li, Blanca. Uh, I actually do want to check out uh, Kimberly. I want to try Kimberly and Jamie. Jamie was actually the one I was going to come in with. Actually, Jamie? We'll go Jamie, Ryu, Ken, Guile. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna begin with Jamie. I think. So let's see what we can. Can we do anything right now? I guess these are like tags. Okay, okay, let's just play the game. Okay. All right, all right. Those are the events. Celebrate the Street Fighter 6 release. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 6. Okay, the team has put everything into creating a game for you to enjoy. Get ready for a new Street Fighter and find your next rival. Okay character bundle available now i think we have that chipotle x oh chipotle it's chipotle i love chipotle we got customize your avatar with fighter icon street fighter 6 kicking off with a chipotle curl collaboration for united states players yeah for a limited time u.s players can participate in Chip uh, the chipotle entree using promo code hadouken236 at checkout and earn 250 fighter coins. That's fucking cool. Only available on the Chip Chipotle app online. Okay. All right, guys. All right. Chipotle. The Onitsuka Tiger Street Fighter. Uh, we may have this. Street Fighter and the sports fashion brand. Onits uh, Onitsuka? Onitsuka? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Have teamed up for a special collaboration. We're all giving players who log in during this period below a set of four collab items. Please find your items attached. Ooh, let's view our items. We got the Tiger Kimberly, Tiger Chun-Li, and Indactus. All right, all right, yeah, let's go then. This is the Tiger Kimberly T, avatar clothing items. Note that these items do not affect the strength of your avatar. Okay, so it's got a picture of Kimberly and it's got a picture of Chun-Li on the shirt. And then these are the Indactus. The Indact Us. Avatar clothing items. Note that these items do not affect the strength of your avatar. Drip equals strength. So if you can intimidate your avatar clothing items, note that items do. So they got some black sneaks. We got some sunny sneaks. And we got some tiger chicks on a t-shirt. All right, cool, cool. Rental fighter feature. With four new fighters, I'm scrolling, okay. With four new fighters scheduled for release this year, it seems like a great time to introduce Street Fighter 6's rental fighter system. 
the rental fighter item is attached to this message and it's going to allow you to use your character or use a character that you currently don't have for one hour so we're probably going to play for like 60 hours and find out which one's kicking our ass for the past 40 hours out of that and then we'll rent that character <laughs> <laughs> the rental fighter system will become available for the first new character releases which is scheduled for summer 2023 if the characters you're interested take the opportunity to try for okay all right we got the rental fighter no mind if i do did we not obtain the last ones i need to go back and obtain those domo arigato all, all of them oh do i have to just like okay accept there you go yes and then I don't want to be taken to the Steam store. I've already done that. So we got those. And this is it. Hear the music start popping off. I don't know how well y'all can hear that. I can hear pretty good. A multiplayer online space. Uh, oh, this is a, a, a multiplayer online space for players to gather, fight, interact, take part in special events. The battle hub is the place to be. Oh, we're selecting. Oh, this is a stage we could set fighting ground. Test your metal in a variety of game modes between arcade mode, training mode, offline matches, and more. There are many paths for fighters to follow in their pursuit of combat mastery. Okay, all right. World Tour. Create an avatar and embark on a journey to discover the meaning of strength. Take the plunge and experience the world of Street Fighter like never before. I think I'm going to do... I want to go straight into fighting ground. Can I just go straight into fighting ground? I do. I am going to do the world tour, but I want to see what this is. Is this just like fighting? Can we just begin to fight? I think that's what this is. I need to do my options, but we'll wait. We'll wait. Okay. All right. Am I... The essence of fighting, the basics. It's time to learn what it takes to be a fighter. So tell me, do you have experience fighting? Uh, I have Street Fighter experience. Select a control type. You can change your control type later. Traditional Hadouken, yes. Are you sure you want to use this? Yes. Classic controls, huh? It takes time to get used to them, but they open up your options in a fight. Movement, walking. Left and right. We'll let you move in that direction with the joystick or the joystick or the d-pad or the joystick you can either walk forward or backwards start to walk over where i am oh ryu's narrating okay Ryu. good you're taking the first steps towards being a fighter now dashing uh twice okay i think we got that all right jumping i think yeah we got jump all right let's go good jumps are excellent Normal attack. All right, you know how to move. Now it's time to learn how to attack. Start off with normal attacks, bunches. Okay. So, so that was an X. Pl pressing Y or B is a medium. Okay. Well, X, it was X and A was short. Y and B is medium. Okay, got it, got it. And then RB and RT are heavy attacks. RB, RT. I can feel the strength in your attacks. <laughs> Inputting down will cause your character to crap. Okay. And then attacking from this state will cause your character to assume a low profile. They're in the way. They're in the way right now. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, all right. We got it. We got it. We got it. Finally, jumping attacks. Airborne. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, uh, sit there. Uh. Those are basic attacks, but don't forget them. Instead, devote yourself to tempering them. All right, all right. Blocking. Now let's give you a rundown of defense. There are two kinds of blocks, standing and crouching. Press uh, the opposite or direction of your opponents. Okay. And, and if you're facing right, then you want to hold left. If you're facing left, then you want to hold right. Okay. Two, one, block. Ha! Huh, you can't hit me. Nice. Feels better than taking damage, doesn't. Standing blocks can guard any attacks that aren't aimed at your feet. For attacks standing blocks can't defend against, there's crouching block. When you're facing right, input diagonally down and to the left to block. Okay, let's see you're using... Okay, we're going to use a crouching block. 
Down and back. Down and back. Good job. There, you did it. Crouching by... Okay. Throws. If you can't just break through your opponent's blocks, you can use throws to deal damage to them instead. At a close range, go up to them and press U and J at the same time for a normal throw. I don't know what you... Okay, A and... Okay. It's a punch and a kick for a normal throw. Okay, I got it. So throw escapes are uh, throwing... Okay, escape by timing. Okay, so you got to guess what they're going to throw you with and then press that same throw to counter it. So if he's going to hit X and A, I got to press X and A to counter. All right, cool. Got it, got it, got it. So you don't always want to grab the same way. You want to mix it up. When you're grabbing, grab with the other abilities too sometimes. That's what I, that's what I inferred. Next, let's talk special moves. A, a Kadukin. Okay. Oh, that's a sand blast? He's picking up sand? Here's some dirt in your eye. Rising uppercut. Rising uppercut. He's got some forearms. Okay. Different special moves work better in different situations. All right. Super arts. It's super. Now let's talk about super arts. Check out the super arch gauge, uh, super art gauge at the bottom of the screen. Okay. The super art gauge can be filled up to three levels as indicated by the number beside the gauge. If you have at least one bar, then you can perform a super art. Try performing a, super, a level one super art, which you may have already guessed uses one stock of the super art gauge. You can use Luke's by doing a down forward, down forward punch. Okay, machine gun punch. He's like, that, that, that. All right, now level two. So you got to be a uh, short range. And it's down back, down back. Okay, down back, down back. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now level three. Every fighter has a trump card. As expected, use all three of the stocks. Okay, this is going to use all three. So down forward, down forward, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time to go to work. Oof. Right, he's like, hit me in the fucking face. <laughs> and you're like, all right. Good, that hits hard. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Remember the super iron right, gauge fills up whenever you attacks are hit. Never forget to have something like this up your sleeve. All right, cool. Drive gauge. Six bars up here, known as the drive gauge, indicates the fighter's concentration and energy level. Utilizing this gauge lets you perform unique actions. For starters, we'll go over two basic uses of the drive gauge. First off is drive impact. Press the right bumper or the right trigger at the same time to perform a powerful attack. Go on, give it a go. All right. <laughs> Rock a go. All right, cool. Ow. I was prepared for a hit, but that hurt. Drive impacts can absorb two attacks from the opponent, but there are some expectations. When you're in trouble, use drive impact to break through an attack. Okay. It's like a k -k -k combo breaker. Drive impacts have a unique characteristic that can break a corner to opponent's, opponent's block. Oh, okay. Try it out in a real fight. When I'm blocking at the end of the stage, press the drive impact. Okay. Now let's see how the opponent, or do you see how the opponent's defense just crumble crumbles? Whenever you have some defenses in the corner or someone on the de defense in the corner, the drive impact's a good option. Next, I'll treat, teach you about dry parry. This is performed by pressing and holding down Y and B at the same time for a powerful defense tool. Try defending against my dry parry. One, okay, three, two, one. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was worried that was a bit too early. Dry parries are effective against standing and crouching. They replenish, oh, if you do it successfully, you get replenished drive gauge. When you're on your heels and you don't know what to do, look for your dry parry. Got it. While dry parries are powerful, they, can, they can't they can defend against throws. Try them out in a real fight while I perform a dry parry. Press uh, X and A at the same time to throw me. Okay, go. Huh. Huh. Okay, I just grab, grab. You had to get close, close for that grab. A perfect parry is the result of performing a drive parry at the moment the attack hits you. This is an invaluable tool for counterattacking. Alright, we'll practice this. 
Did I do that? Okay, trading drive impacts. Drive impacts are a powerful tool for any fighter, so when an opponent uses them, there's a good way of dealing with them that you should remember. You can use a drive parry to defend against the drive impact. Try defending against my drive impact with your drive parry. Okay, let's do it. Nice. If you've been cornered in a fight, you can bet your bottom dollar that an opponent will try to hit you with a drive impact. And that's when you need to predict their attempt and counter with a drive parry. Okay, it's loading. Of course, a good defense is often a good offense, so you can counter a drive impact with one of your own. The timing is harder than using a drive parry, but can lead to some big damage. Let's give you some practice now. Re react to my drive impact with one of your own. All right. Oof. You're a quick learner. When you're in the corner, always be ready to deal with an opponent's drive impact. If you sense it coming, you can also try to forward jump out of trouble. Burnout. Drive impact and drive parry are great uses of the drive gauge, but continuous use is going to drain the gauge in, uh, completely, and then you'll be able to unuse it for a period of time. And then he looks gassed out too. He's exhausted. Dang, okay, that's cool. Got it, got it, got it. Ah, oh, he's all tweet. okay. I was seeing stars for a moment there. When a fighter's in burnout, they can be stunned even if they uh, block a drive impact. Remember, chasing someone into the corner gives you more chances to attack. Okay. Battle in conditions. Now let's go over the rules of engagement. The gauge at the top of the screen displays your vitality. On the left is player two, that's me. Get hit with an attack and your vitality drops. When it reaches zero, that's a knockout. Round limits have time limit. Rounds have time limits. If no one scores a not knockout within that time limit, the round ends. If the round ends with no one scoring a knockout, the fighter will, with the most votes vitality was de declared the winner. Whoever has the most health wins. Each fighter has a set of number of rounds, and whoever reaches the round victories is the first winner of the entire fight. Okay, now let's put what you have to the test. Let's practice. All right, I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna go like this. And then get you one of these Hadouken sand things. Yeah, that that's what I meant to do. And then drive impact. And then drive uh, block. Drive block. <laughs> it recharged me. That's kind of lame. Because I was like standing there for a long time waiting for him to like use a boo. But it didn't. Okay. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Uh, I was trying to do like one of those big ones. The down forward, down forward. Look at the hip thrust. <laughs> Too, easy. Too easy. Good fight. GG. If you're aiming for the top, in fighting ground, you'll use the tutorials. These do uh, use these to learn various and more powerful techniques. Don't be hasty. Take your time and get stronger little by little and go at your own pace. Okay, so that was a classic type tutorial. Modern mode. Do we want to do another seven minutes? No. No. Do we do the monitor uh, next time? Next time. I think we're just going to play next time. All right, guys. Till then. Peace. And stick around because you're going to like it. You're going to, I think, I think I'm going to like it. I don't, I don't know what to expect, but it's pretty highly reviewed. So till then, peace.